Where do we go from here? Are you in the camp that sees more rate hikes after today's musings as to whether or not the Bank of Canada is getting close to the end of their rate hiking cycle? Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, you know, I think, so the, the Bank of Canada, as expected, um, hiked, as you suggested, uh, another outsized interest rate hike, 75 basis points. In the statement, they also pointed towards additional rate hikes. Um, and we think that's probably right. We think ultimately the policy rate probably gets to somewhere around 4%, maybe even a little bit higher, so that the Bank of Canada can position policy uh, to be restrictive. You know, now, we've already started to see the effects of the uh, tremendous increase in uh, in rates in Canada for on the housing market, obviously price housing prices have actually started to decline in Canada. You know, but nevertheless, um, the Canadian economy was coming into all of this in a relatively strong position as a result of you know the oil dividend from rising energy prices and and just the positive effects from reopening the economy. Labor markets were also tight, uh, so it's completely reasonable, I think, for the Bank of Canada to uh, you know obviously an inflation is high. Uh, to start, you know, reasonable for them to, to raise rates and to position monetary policy uh, to be more restrictive. Tiffany, walk us through the impact that the commodity markets might make. You talked about perhaps housing prices coming off just a little bit. We're looking at Brent crude that is at an 88 handle. Uh, we also see a little bit of food prices and other commodities kind of coming off. How much of that is going to factor into the BOC's decision? Yeah, well, I, I think just from an inflation perspective, you are going to get, assuming that you, the easing in energy and food prices that we've seen over the last, uh, you know, several months is assuming that that, that is maintained, you are going to get measures of headline inflation coming down. Um, you know, but over the, you know, over the next couple of meetings, we still think the BOC probably does hike rates a little bit more because underlying trends of inflation, uh, you know, their core uh, measures, trim mean type measures that the BOC prefers, they're actually continuing to tick up. And, and by the way, this is not just Canada uh, that these kinds of more sticky price measures are, are ticking up. You're seeing that in the Eurozone, UK, the US as well. So I, I don't think that the Bank of Canada is really out of the woods yet, um, you know, in terms of their concerns that inflation expectations have risen and higher inflation might come in, in uh, more entrenched in people's, uh, you know, psyche and behavior. You know, so I think although they probably do slow the pace of rate hikes over the next couple of meetings, you probably do get, uh, you know, some additional tightening from here.